Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at Storage Lens. There's not a whole lot to do in Storage Lens, as it's more about providing us information, but we should still uh, know what it looks like. So on the left-hand side, we have Storage Lens, and we go over here to Dashboards. It already creates one by default for us, so we can go ahead and go down to the Default Account Dashboard. And what we'll get is some data. So you can see, at least in this account, which is not a lot happening here, that um, you know we have different information for how storage is occurring. So for total storage, you can see we're having files, we're deleting files, we got object counts, we got av average object size, a lot of different information. We can break it down by day, week, and month, even though that didn't look a whole lot different there. We can see trends and change the time frame for what is happening there. We can change on a lot of different uh, values here as well. Again, we can see classification storage. You'll see mostly I'm doing standard storage because you know even though it was, has all these storage methods, unless you're working at scale, there's not a whole lot of reason to change that kind of stuff. Uh, we can go over here to accounts and each of these tabs breaks information down from a different perspective. So this is from an account based on account breakdown. Uh, of course, this is a single account. So I'd imagine that if we were in our root account in an organization, maybe we get more information. Uh, we'll go over to AWS regions. So again, it's similar information, just all over the place. Uh, nothing super exciting uh, to report home, but yeah, there's that stuff there. Um, we could take a quick look here and see what happens if we create a dashboard. I don't think there's anything that interesting. So you can just say, if you wanna include regions or buckets, Notice there's free metrics, advanced metrics, includes options for additional metrics and aggregation and other advanced capabilities. Data is available to query 50 months. So it looks like if you want more S3 advanced metrics, you can bring stuff over from other places and get richer information. So I mean, I guess there could be a good reason to uh, create a custom dashboard. And it looks like we can export our metrics into different formats and have it dumped to a bucket. So pretty straightforward. So yeah, there you go.